Well, hey guys. Uh, so this is the RV. If y'all did, you know, can't remember what it looks like. Uh, it's literally as we left. It's like a little little ghost town. <laughs> right before we left, I don't know. Nothing's changed. Uh, I even haven't emptied the the black. We just literally left to start really focusing on uh, you know the whole birth thing, and then uh, kind of left this place to just be here. We checked on it every once in a while, make sure there's no leaks or anything major going on. Uh, there is like a slight smell, and I think it's just from uh, AC pulling certain odors in, and so there's a few things I know that I need to fix on that. Um, but everything should be fixed by the, I mean, that, that's the easy, <laughs> easy part. So, uh, today I'm just going to clean, uh, take care of a few other essential things. Uh, just try to get it, you know, a little bit easier to, to move back into. Uh, so the idea is that we actually move back in here and still have places that we can go to in case we want to go, uh, stay in a house, you know, more than just an RV with Eva. Um, but we're really looking forward to coming back into the RV. I know Blair is. And then this is all one other step to get me closer to the field where I'm actually uh, building the house. So ultimately it's work on RV, work on house, uh, move into house. So, yeah. So far I've basically just swept everything. Uh, I've kind of mopped the floors with paper towels. I don't exactly have all the uh, cleaning utensils I need right now. So uh, one thing I need to do today is actually head to the store, uh, get some stuff to actually make the place smell better. Sorry, hold on. All right. And then also I uh, lifted this guy up just to look what's in there. Uh, everything in there looks fine, just it's dirty. Uh, I need to clean everything. So uh, top to bottom. Right now I'm actually going from bottom to top and then back down, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because uh, basically I'm just tracking stuff around, it's driving me nuts, so I had to clean the floors first. And I'm also trying to remove the heater still. Uh, I have everything that I need to do it minus a tool. So there's one tool that I know I have somewhere, but I just can't find it yet. Uh, so just trying to organize everything now that I'm back, it's uh, it's a little tough. But uh, I'm trying to also do it in spurts. So don't want to leave Blair with the baby too long alone. Um, I'm glad that I ended that last part. Uh, but yeah, so she's uh, back in the house uh, taking care of little Eva. This might be a good stopping point. Uh, so I'll stop here for right now. I'm going to continue today. I'm going to try to do it in like four spurts and then get it mostly clean. And then from there, um, another day, probably tomorrow, I'm going to go over it with uh, the, the stuff that I don't necessarily like to smell. So it's like um, vinegar to treat a little bit of mold that I found. I mean, it's actually old mold. And what I'm actually going to do is seal it where I, where I found it. Uh, because it's actually just a crack. Uh, it looks like it was just kind of a, a, a like kind of a place that's missed uh, with the slide out. Um, so it's just kind of a manufacturer issue. It happens uh, with these kind of things. Uh, so what I can do is actually seal it uh, where I noticed that the, the moisture is getting in. And then uh, from there it should be good. Um, I'm going to treat it first, then seal it. Um, do the same thing around the uh, edges of the shower. Uh, I noticed there's just, it just looks kind of gross and I think I can fix it with a little bit of sealant. Uh, and so I'm uh, going to do that tomorrow with a little bit of vinegar and a few other solutions. So, um, yeah, I think I'm done for right now. All right. So I'm taking a break on the RV to actually work on a cement mixer, uh, for all those holes out there. Uh, this should only take me a few minutes. It's mostly put together. I just need to actually figure out the, uh, engine, um, or the, you know, the little motor on it and kind of start to carry it out to the, the holes. And so yeah, it should take me like 10 minutes. She's so heavy. We have a quick little outing today. Uh, we're heading to just get some food. Um, we're gonna get some burritos, free birds. Eva's asleep. Um, she didn't sleep a whole lot yesterday, so I'm hoping that she'll take a lot of naps today. I'm hoping she can get some good sleep today. Of course she's awake. Wide awake. Eva, Eva, hey, you gonna take a nap today? Little squishy face, she got her blue jeans on, look at that. But you should nap. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you. 
guess it's been a while since we've updated y'all. I know it's been over three weeks now since we uploaded a video. Um. Wow. I know. It's also 96 degrees in Texas. Yeah. It is hot. And the mosquitoes are so bad. I barely take Eva outside just because it's so miserable. We took her out for a couple minutes this morning before it got too hot. So, I don't know. What have we been up to, Matt? Literally the same thing. It's uh, pretty much feeding Eva, burping Eva, trying to get her to go to sleep. She goes to sleep, 15 minutes goes by, she's back awake again. Uh, we kind of like coddle her a little bit. Uh, and then, hey, we repeat it <laughs> until we go to sleep. And then actually now we're sleeping through the night mm -hmm. for the most part, better than a lot of my friends that have Oh yeah, kids. yeah. It used to be where we would both get up and we were both involved in the sleeping, or not the sleeping, the eating and all that stuff, or feeding, I guess I should say. We didn't eat, I just ate whenever I went downstairs to go with the formula. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely have put on some weight though, because of that, because of that and many other reasons. Yeah, well, I think that as Dad, bye. she's falling asleep, I think that as things settle down with her, um, she requires less constant attention, then I think it'll be nice for you to get more into some type of like workout routine. Um, I'm slowly starting on getting back to the gym, um, but I, I think that, I don't know, my body's still got some recovering to do, so like two days a week. I've, I've got some updates on my little fitness channel that I have a link below. I played a couple big shows. Mm, that's true. So Matt's, Matt's played some band stuff. Um, I guess there have been a couple things going on, but not really anything that we've thought to, to pick up the camera. And then once you get out of the routine of picking up the camera, then it's, it's just kind of over. So well, it's not just that. So as soon as I leave you, or it's like I basically, I spend time with you and the baby all the way up until I have to leave. And then I have to leave for band stuff. And then I rush to the, go pick up my drums, or I rush to the show, rush to set it up. And then as soon as we're done playing, I, I just go back to breaking everything down, taking it back, and then heading back to you as soon as possible so I can, you know. But at that point, I was swaddling. Like, I was the sole swaddler <laughs> of the of, of Eva. So I had to make it back in time for, for bedtime, which I didn't always do, but I got close. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much why we have not been vlogging. <laughs> just one thing leads to the next, and then you realize, oh, you're not holding a camera during any of it. So. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of... A lot of what, a lot of what, um, I obviously is just baby stuff, but I've been trying to kind of focus on just being with Eva as much as I can. Um, I didn't want to worry about vlogging because I don't know, she's, she's just so little and new and just trying to spend as much time with her. And then whenever Matt's around, we're trying to kind of spend time as a little family together. I know that this, we're going to miss this day just as tough as it is. I know we're going to miss it. So. Eva. You see her just slamming her head. I do. Oh, it's so bright. I know. All right, I'll walk over. It is pretty bright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like watching little feet dangle. Look at this. I forgot to wear shoes. You don't need shoes out here. You see a little face? You see a little face? Eva. Does she know what a camera is yet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she will. <laughs> yeah, she will. She's already got a YouTube channel. I'm just kidding. What? She better not have a YouTube channel yet. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the cement mixer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Closing the door on me. Are you sure what you did? Oh, I need to. The door's gonna scare you. Well, like like you said, she'll get used to the sounds and not get so scared after what three or four months. Yeah. yeah. A little startle reflex. Yeah. I see there's pillows in my seat. Yeah, these need to be washed. Those need to be thrown back behind me again. So I took those off just so I can have room to work on stuff. Which that just needs to be placed back on the counter. Because I cleaned all the counter space. Like nice. every inch of it. Even back in our cubbies? No, no, counter space. Just, just this counter. Oh, oh. It took a while, okay? No, that's real dirty. Yeah, it like took a while. in the corners and stuff, yeah. I haven't gotten down, down in there. You need to take a nap, honey. 
Oh, I mean, I want to. You're not talking to me, are you? No. And then I found out you can take the blinds off. Look at that. Because there's a oh. little bit of, I guess, moisture that turned into some mold oh, yeah. on those. And so, and I was like, well, I can't clean that. And I realized there's these little clips that go on the back of it. Really? Yeah. So you just pull those off and clean. So that's what I was going to do right now. Yeah, because those were, those are hard to reach whenever I would clean stuff. My hands are free. I know. He was asleep. Which I forgot we had that thing. Oh, look. Look what's not here. So. So much room. I know. There's so much more room in here. Seriously, just compared to what it. You should get out of the way. Just walk in front. Compared to what it used to be with the booth. I know. Booth. With the booth. Holy like, goodness. this whole spot was taken all the way up to, like, past waist height. All the way to, like, right. Well, I can almost see where it is. Yeah, there's a hole. Right there. So, look at that. All that space is new to us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doesn't whole seem like RV, a lot, but the whole RV is new to us. yeah, and you can actually see right there when the booth went all the way up to that, so almost to where like the door was, and then of course all the way across and all the way around. But now instead we have, and our shelving goes right there, which is actually inside the house, mm -hmm. and then there's more shelving that goes a right. Pull dresser. Look at, there's space in there. I need to organize the cords, but I need to be able to get on here. But I need to put those under here, so I got a little catch twenty two right, right here going on, but. Uh, the propane was connected into here. I capped it off with a valve that shuts on and off. Wait, you got some you got a leg hanging down? Just look at the little feet. Oh, the toes are cute. Can't even focus, they're so cute. Okay. But you can actually see outside right now. But that's all temporary. I'm actually about to put just a piece of tape over it. Uh, these are actually electric... Oh, don't no, zoom in on my hand. These are electrical plates. Uh, like they just kind of cap on uh, those like boxes that, that hold in wires and stuff like that. And you can just see I basically just, uh, the two ports that are right there for the heater, I just, uh, yeah, just covered them. And so there's actually nothing getting through. Uh, they are uh, water resistant as well. So really nothing should be able to get through that. Uh, and just bolted them directly through the wall, made sure I didn't, uh, like whenever you're screwing stuff into this paneling, it's really easy to strip stuff. Like... You can strip a hole into it, and then basically the screw is loose from then on, and it just kind of moves in and out. So yeah, you have to basically uh, put the screw in very slow, uh, so that it doesn't rip anything out, uh, as far as some of this composite board. So what we're trying to do right now, that everything's clean, everything's ready for Evo, basically, uh, except for you know some like the AC unit needs to be cleaned a little bit, just the filter pieces to it. Uh, the bathroom needs to be cleaned a little bit. It's all minor stuff. I can knock that out and like an hour maybe probably that probably about an hour uh, but here's a question for y'all I guess um, we've oh, had funny. we've had mold but we've treated it yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah might as well got videos talking about the mold yeah so we're just worried about her um, we've seriously cleaned the mold several times just to make sure that it doesn't keep coming back uh, it was bad the first time uh, the second time it wasn't that bad and we still treated it and cleaned it um, and we've had the little damp red packs in here yeah um, I just ordered some more just I guess just in case since this does accumulate mold so easily but my fear is I don't know her breathing it in so okay. if y'all know anything about this I know there's actually air tests out there but they're expensive and I don't know if they work so if anyone knows anything about those uh, please let us know um, but really we're just trying to make sure that it's as safe as possible I know it's a pretty normal thing to have mold inside RVs for the most part. Like, it's a pretty common issue for a lot of people, what I've noticed. I'm sure a lot of it goes unseen, too. Yeah, a lot of it does go unseen, even for houses. And I know that for a fact, because I've worked with Surpro, space. which is a national company. Small space. Small space. Uh, the AC unit does pull from outside air. Uh, it doesn't, like, recirculate inside air, which that's a semi-bonus right there. That There's no real harmful factors there. Um, I don't know. Should we just get an air purifier? Can you see Oh, yeah, I know. Look at that little head. Yeah, would an air purifier help? I don't know. Does yeah. Any suggestions just let possible? Us know, um, especially if any of you guys have, I mean, we would be breathing it in too, but if, if any of y'all know anything about We're less mold important. that's been cleaned, um, is it something that we need to to keep her? Yeah. I don't know. And even mold that I, I see that, that I'm still having trouble spots with, you know, what I'm doing is I'm, I don't know if this is good either. But I actually get some of that sealant, and I put sealant over that area. Um, and I go back and check it, and I notice that there's no issues with mold afterwards, obviously, just because I've completely covered the area. I don't know if that's bad. I don't know if that's good. But literally everywhere, I've, I've tried to figure things out. Also, I'm still trying to figure out 
so this thing's not as as good as I thought it was the RV itself uh, just how like I've talked about it before how much there's a lot of holes in this thing so a lot of space in, uh, where the wheel wells are and so that's kind of the issue that's um, why it doesn't keep cool yeah so I just need to insulate those areas uh, so what I'm gonna do is just stuff those areas with insulation as best I can and then try to seal it but it, it's difficult because the area behind the kitchen there's a wheel well behind that um, I can't get back there from this side at all, so I can't really check what the damage is on this side by any means. If there's water in there, if there's insects, which I know there's um, some spider webs back there. Uh, that's actually behind this guy right here. So little things like that that I can't get to to clean, and so it's kind of a pain, but... Um, yeah, what do you guys do? Yeah, what do y'all do to get, get that clean? Do you, do you just not clean it? Do you just pretend that it's not there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> areas that you literally can't reach. <laughs> and that's pretty much what I'm going to do is somewhat ignore it, but maybe I might stick like some kind of uh, like wedge something underneath all of these spaces that are under here. And there's like a little gap where, it, you know, the sliding uh, factor happens, you know, so I don't know. I'm just going to insulate everything. It's going to make it real safe for this one. Not, not, not this one so much, but this one right here. She's so cute. So cute. Can you see her little face? It looks like she's really trying she's to sleep. Like, uh. she's, oh god. Let me sleep. <laughs> but yeah, we were just talking today about how much we miss being in the RV because it's been since we're staying next door, it's been two months since we've been in here. And that's another reason why we need to clean it so bad is because nobody's been in it. Yeah, and, uh, been no use. The only thing that has been here is there has been water inside of this the entire time. Uh, there's been AC flowing, so... AC flowing. Flowing. The AC, and then of course we've still got power so that the fridge has been on. Um, but I cleared everything out of that whenever we came back. Except for condiments. Which we might um, as well just throw those yeah, away. condiments, but that's not... So we need to do, and it was, I don't know, this will be another video, kind of like putting everything in here from Eva, um, because we're going to have to navigate all of our stuff as long as, as well as all of her stuff. It's a nest again. Um, Third time nesting. Yes which I'm looking forward to because I do as, as much as it, as nice as it's been to stay with family. Yeah. I'm just ready to have a place of our own again, um, especially our little RV. And then I, I want the dogs back in here too because they're staying next door. We might have to, to take a little bit of time to adjust with us and Eva and then bring the dogs over because it is a lot of, a lot of living things in small space. Yeah. So. And I don't, again, we don't plan to be in here too long as at least, you know, full-timing it. Of course, we haven't been full-timing for the last two months anyways. Mm -hmm. um, but this gets me a little bit closer to working on everything that's out there. So you saw that I put together the cement mixer. Um, one thing I didn't say is we did finish all of the steel uh, for all the holes. We, I mean, obviously finished all the holes, finished the steel. Uh, what I want to do is pour the concrete. We're actually going to be starting either tonight, really hot outside. It's like 96 degrees. It's in direct yeah. sunlight. So. It's real hot. But this week for sure. If not today, then tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then definitely Tuesday. Because I can't remember what our schedule is in the afternoon from Monday or Tuesday. It might be switched. So we sometime in the afternoon. Week check up on Tuesday. On Tuesday. So I may make it back here. And then um, from there, uh, pretty much we get started. Uh, I'm going to start actually getting some septic guys out uh, to see what the septic situation is for the actual house. And then also one thing is uh, we need to double check all of the plumbing before we get started on that. So those two things have to happen before the containers come in. At least I want them to happen. Uh, but that's not me working on it. That's uh, just me scheduling people out and then paying for it. So um, that shouldn't slow us down at all. The house is still going to happen. The house is for sure going to happen. But what did I tell you what? from the get-go? What my fault? From January, I what said my fault? there's no way it's going to be ready. So it definitely... Anyone else out there, it can be done. Uh, you have to put like your whole soul into it, basically, mm -hmm. and all your funding, pretty much. So uh, mm -hmm. there's even, I mean, other people have done a very similar concept as what we've seen. In fact, we saw one on TV. Uh, you know, this happened, I guess, uh, the show came on called Contained or something like that. And that came on, uh, my dad recorded it uh, for the first time, uh, like right when we were talking about this. And it's just funny that our, like, whole plans were almost the exact same. Two parallel containers, mm -hmm. a space in between. Uh, they're putting their space in between, not on a pier and beam like we're doing, 
um, but they're actually doing it on uh, a slab. So mm -hmm. the only difference is that, but they're still doing the kind of high vaulted ceilings on the inside. They have that little space for a deck. Uh, so it's going about 20 feet out, or no, 30 feet out out of the 40. And so they have about 10 foot of decking. So it's very similar to what we're doing. So you can see that uh, people can do it for about, I think they did it for about $80,000 or $70,000, something like that. Uh, obviously it's a TV show, who knows if they're lying or not, uh, especially on time frames. But they did that and with, within just like a few months, it was like That's two or three time. months, sure it was. So yeah, it can be done uh, and it will be done by us. Uh, that's for the footing, and then you still have to do the actual pier of it, so the sauna tubes and all that. That's going to be a second pour later on, uh, but we can even be doing that while the septic guys or the, uh, the well, electricians come in too. Uh, those are the three main factors, plumbing, septic, electricians. All coming real soon. I'm on baby duty. And she's watching the baby, and I'm intermittently watching the baby, so mm -hmm. I can throw myself at things for about 30 minutes at a time before I have to run back. <laughs> so. Longer than that. Well, so it depends on the day. Yeah, it does. Um, okay, well, we just wanted to update y'all and let you know that we're still here. Um, it's just been hectic, but a different kind of hectic. Yeah. Uh, so. Like a calm kind of hectic, like you can only focus on one thing. Yeah. But I, and I keep saying this, I really want to get back to vlogging. Um, it's just kind of hard whenever I'm in there cooped up because it's just us. I just feed her. Change Guess her what? Diaper, Go back to vlogging. She sleeps, but keep an eye out. Uh, we'll be uploading videos hopefully more regularly than every three weeks. <laughs> um, starting with at least once a week would be great. They might be shorter, they're not going to be super edited. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind, but we're going to just keep you on the loop about what's going on. And I, I want to vlog this little thing, because she's already grown so much. And it just makes me want to cry because she's already so big and she's only six weeks and she's only going to grow faster. So anyway. A month and a half. That's all. Thanks for tuning in and, and sticking around. Yeah. We uh, hope you guys are all doing well. And if you're traveling this summer, enjoy. Yeah. And don't come down here. It's too hot. Yeah. <laughs> Stay up there. We always, like, gloat about how nice it is during the winter. But, man, it's hot right now. Yeah. But either way, wherever y'all go, have fun out there. Bye. All right. So kind of a full day of cleaning. Here's the progress. So let me see. This has all been basically scrubbed down. Uh, the fans have a little bit of dust in them still. There's one on either side. I'll be cleaning that out. Literally, I even cleaned down to the gun. Uh, everything has basically no dust on it. Now, I guess no bacteria, uh, depending on the uh, cleaner I used. Uh, these are all the tools uh, left. I think I'm gonna throw our comforter away finally. This is the one that the RV came with. I just asked permission. Uh, from Blair, but you know, I'm, I'm just gonna do it anyways. So I'm just gonna throw it away. Uh, all the pillows need a little bit of uh, a clean. There's still a little bit of dog hair on them. We pulled so much hair from underneath this area. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I think I'm just gonna try to prevent it by uh, putting some insulation of some kind all through this side right here. Uh, all of this has been scrubbed down. All of the bathroom has been scrubbed down. Uh, everything underneath the chair, all around the chair. Uh, this area is basically new. Um, these are going to be cleaned right now. Scrubbed every inch of this toilet. There's me. I did not scrub that down yet, but we will see. Uh, every closet, every, I want to say nook and cranny has been uh, basically worked on this whole time. Hardest part so far has been uh, the roof. That took a little while, so what I'm thinking is the AC is pulling in odors from the outside, so that's going to be gray tank, black tank, uh, through the pipe that's in here. There's a pipe that's right here. Takes the smells out. So that pipe right there actually, um, it's right up top, right by the AC unit. So basically that AC unit's pulling in odors from there, pulling in odors from itself, all the things that are leaking from itself, uh, and then basically redistributing them back into the RV. And so that's the smell that's, uh, that Blair's been smelling. Trying to get rid of that. Cleaning all of the pipes. Uh, use CLR, like a mixture of it, on the uh, shower. And then also what I'm doing is I'm waiting for that to dry. I'm caulking all of the edges. So with these RVs, they do a lot of shortcuts, obviously. Uh, there's this plastic surrounding, and then there's space in between the plastic surrounding, uh, you know, that's, of course, water resistant, and the RV itself. So what I'm doing is I'm actually uh, caulking the um, like the space in between the two at the top 
and on the bottom where the, uh, the the drain pan is. And so what I'm doing is making it watertight, really. Um, and so what's been happening is there's been water getting into these crevices, uh, creating mold, mildew, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm going to prevent that in the future. And then also, uh, obviously, cleaning it right now is taking a while. Uh, I should have this whole cleaning project done by this next weekend, probably. Uh, by the time I'm done with the you know, test holes as well. So I'm trying to do both at the same time. Uh, all the concrete pouring and then also the cleaning of the RV. Hopefully we'll move back into the RV very soon. Maybe within a week. I'm just trying to keep you all updated. Cleaning everything. Even uh, dumping black and gray for the first time in two months, three months. So it's not a pretty sight. But gotta be done.